สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n s a Welcome to this Wednesday, July 27th edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. The body of a 73-year-old American man is now being examined by medical experts at b a s h i r a Phuket Hospital to confirm how the man died after a local fisherman found the body just north of Yanui Beach in Rawai. A local fisherman found the body shortly before 7 a.m. this morning in the water among the rocks in front of the windmill viewpoint just north of Yanui Beach. k u s o t o n Foundation rescue workers, along with Chalong police, arrived on the scene, and it took rescue workers several hours to safely recover the heavily decomposed body since it was lodged among rocks on the coastline. It was finally carried ashore shortly before 10 a.m. this morning. On the body itself was a red waste bag. Which contained the man's American passport and a variety of currencies, including Thai baht, U.S. dollars, and Korean won, all together worth just over 30,000 baht. Police also found a key card for a room at n i h a r n on the Rock Resort. Right now, police believe the man fell from the rocks into the water and died sometime within the last seven days. The U.S. Embassy in Bangkok has been notified. His identity is being withheld until the next of kin are notified. The investigation into the man's death is ongoing. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Phuket's top doctor is playing down the news that a 40-year-old Thai man is being tested for monkeypox, telling the public that the man had no contact with Thailand's first case, a Nigerian man who had tested positive here on the island. News broke on Tuesday evening that an unnamed 40-year-old Thai man had checked into Talang Hospital after experiencing a fever for three days and later seeing lesions pop up over his body. The man has been transferred to Vashira Phuket Hospital on Tuesday afternoon and is being kept in isolation until test results come back on whether the man has monkeypox or any other disease. Dr. Kusa k o k i a t i k u n the chief of the Phuket Provincial Public Health Office. Is reiterating that nothing has been confirmed and that so far the man does not have monkeypox, and he also did not have any close contact with the Nigerian national Osman Nazarim, who was found infected in Phuket earlier this month. Nazarim, who was staying in Patong, fled Thailand and was later found in Cambodia. He's now being kept in isolation at a local hospital in Nom Pen for about 21 days while receiving medical treatment. At the same time, today, Dr. k u k i a t i k u n Dismissed rumors that a woman had contracted monkeypox after close relations with Nizarim, saying the rumor is not true. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Despite petitions and calls for the immediate suspension of the decriminalization of cannabis, the public health minister Anutin Chambirakun is refusing to back down. The leader of the Bumjai Thai Party, the second biggest in the government coalition. Anutin said on Tuesday that a House committee scrutinizing the bill on cannabis and hemp is expected to finish work on the bill by the end of next month before presenting it for approval by Parliament and royal endorsement. Anutin stated, quote, "We cannot step back and make cannabis an illegal drug again. The plant is useful as a form of medical treatment and will benefit the economy. We have come too far to turn back now." Pushing through the decriminalization of cannabis was among the Boom Chai Thai's flagship policies ahead of the 2019 election. He tried to allay the concerns of those calling for the policy suspension, saying regulations are in place to control the use of cannabis and that its abuse by children is also illegal. His statements came after more than 850 doctors and staff at Ramati Bodhi Hospital in Bangkok are calling to reverse the decision. Pending the implementation of adequate controls to prevent the abuse of cannabis by the youth, the health minister estimates that the industry could be worth more than three billion U.S. dollars within the next five years. Back in 2018, Thailand became the first Southeast Asian country to legalize marijuana for medical use and research, and just last month, the entire cannabis plant was decriminalized, dropped from the list of Category 5 narcotics. Which led to an explosion of small businesses popping up nationwide. At the moment, officials are using the Tobacco Act to regulate cannabis, but that's only a temporary measure, as the House is currently drafting the awaited Cannabis Control Law, or the Cannabis and Hemp Act, meant to regulate the export, import, and sale of cannabis in Thailand. For more, visit the phuketnews.com.
The education minister ordered the transfer of a teacher who stapled a note to a first grader's shirt at a school in Pechabun province. Education Minister Trinuk Tiantong said she wanted the teacher to be transferred from the school temporarily. The minister's remark was in response to a woman's Facebook post on Monday saying a piece of paper was stapled to her child's collar. The note was to inform parents to have their child wear a traditional Thai outfit or flower-patterned clothing on Tuesday when pupils at the school would participate in an activity to mark the National Thai Language Day. According to the mother's post, her husband noticed the note on the child's shirt when he picked up the child from school. He was later kicked out of a line chat group of the child's class after the teacher had tried to talk to other parents in the chat group about the incident. The mother wrote that the teacher could have put a note in her child's bag instead of using a quote, humiliating communication method. The teacher later posted an apology via the school's Facebook page on Tuesday, and they have been transferred to another branch of the school. For more, visit the link in the description. The cabinet on Tuesday approved two more tax incentives to promote use of electric vehicles and help make Thailand a major EV production base. Speaking after the cabinet meeting, Prime Minister Prayut Chanocha said the annual road tax for private vehicles powered completely by electricity was cut by 80% for one year. The tax cut would apply to EVs registered between October 1st this year and September 30th, 2025. The government expects that during the period, at least 128,000 electric vehicles would be on the roads. The government would also waive the tariff on the local production of battery-driven passenger cars, buses carrying up to 10 people each, and pickup trucks until May 31, 2025. The tax exemption applies to the vehicles locally produced in tax-free areas and free trade areas in industrial estates. Officials believe the initiatives would improve air quality and stimulate the economy through electric vehicle production. For more, visit the link in the description. Thanks for joining us here on this Wednesday here at Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll be off tomorrow for the king's birthday, but we'll be back on Friday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.